guys, this is Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to go over Bear to You, which is a Crossfire novel by Sylvia Day. And I'm, I'm going to warn in advance that it's it's not PG. It's, it's not. It's R. X. R. X. Yeah. But I thought, you know what, let's, let's branch out and let's just try this. I just, this, this book. It was an interesting thing, and after I got used to the sex scenes and etc. that I'm not going to get into at all, I really enjoyed it. I like the character development was there, and aside from one time where they're just having this conversation, then they're just like colliding, and that made no sense. But I mean, ninety nine percent of the time, it made sense. So this book's about. Gideon Cross, who is this seriously elite, owns half of Manhattan kind of guy, and then there is a protagonist, Eva, and she has a past, it's hinted at a couple times. She was from California up to New York, and it's her and her roommate Carrie, who is bi-curious, I think is how they said it, which I, I found so much humor in. And let me just say, I love Carrie. I love it. Him. He's hilarious. Then she meets Gideon Cross, who happens to be like the head boss guy at this place that she is now working at. It's called Crossfire. Cross is his last name. And he has this dark side, and I mean just like he exudes sex in every way. I didn't think I was getting into Fifty Shades of Grey here. When when they got into the office scene, I think was when I realized, oh, that's what this book is. Gideon Cross is a man that I cannot describe well without giving details away because he's a secretive type. Like, he doesn't open himself up to other women. And he does open up to Eva. And we get to know him and actually give a damn about him other than a sex object. Now I'm going to start with the spoilers. So come back when you have read it. It actually is a good read. It's smutty but for me it was my first smut novel and it wasn't intimidatingly so can i talk about how much i actually like gideon like a lot a lot i don't know what is wrong with him with the nightmares and then he says how consensually that he had sex at and so i'm like so he was he was raped too and we know that Eva was raped by her stepbrother when she was young. Oh my god, when she told him that, I... Uh, but he's just like, God damn him, and damn it this, and you are worth it, and... Okay, let, let's get into Eva running away from everything all the time. She cannot practice what she preaches. Don't run away from the problem. I'm running away from the problem now. Why are they so difficult? They have so many fights. When he started having a nightmare, and then Carrie had to come in and throwing him across, and he was like raping her, but he was sleepwalking kind of. You can't con control that, and Eva knows that, but still she feels really uh, standoffish with him after that, and that was so terribly sad, and he felt awful for it. It's like, no, I need to leave. I need to be away from you. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry, this and that, especially with her past. But it's like, she she gets it because they're so similar. And they, they do reflect each other in a, a lot of ways. How he was so gentle with her after it, like she was like so breakable, and they both were, and it was so... Oh, it was It's so different than how they were so raw with each other before. One thing I, I, can't, I can't deal with is a grown man crying, and then how Gideon was crying after that, and he was just... He felt awful for it. He felt terrible. Ah. Uh, then when Eva left, and she used the safe word, and that's what ma no you're not that's not okay to use the safe word because you want to go get a drink with some random guy that's not okay to use the safe word outside of the bedroom he says stuff like if you're in the same room with me i don't see anyone else like he calls her angel but he's learning he's really trying because he's like i fucked up i'm so sorry and he's like calling her 23 times and he's apologizing and everything because i mean he didn't take her to his fuck pad to be on he did he in his apartment made an exact replica of her room in her apartment. That is fucking creepy. That's not okay. I don't care who you are, Gideon Cross. That's still weird. 
then he says why. It's like the room that you can go to and I won't bother you, I promise. That way I just, I know you're safe. That was sweet. Everything, he'll do something creepy and then say why and explain it and then it, it becomes okay. This was an uncomfortable video. I bet it was for you too as it, as it was for me. Yeah, so next time I won't be so awkward until the next two in the series. I am reading smut novels and I'm addicted. What is what is wrong with me? Ugh. If you have read it, tell me if you think it compares to Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't play on touch of Fifty Shades of Grey, but I can only handle one series and then I think I'm done. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I won't bite, I promise. In context of this book, I shouldn't have said that. Oh well. Bye! Of course he sleeps in the nude. Why doesn't that surprise me? Because he's Gideon Cross.